Hello everyone, it's Tony. We are less than 90 seconds away from the live release of Sunmi's brand new title track for her brand new album, exactly similarly titled Tail. I cannot wait for this because if you didn't look already from this teaser photo and all the other teaser photos, including also the Studio Tomb teaser for her dance performance, you would know already that this is going to be a hot, this is going to be a sexy, this is going to be a spicy, spicy comeback by Semi. Definitely throwing it back a bit more to uh, the age of, like, say, last comeback of, like, a uh, heroine, uh, Gashina, that type of thing. And before, obviously, her most recent comeback of Borapi Bum and, you know, doing a bit more of, like, that kind of, like, elegant, playful, kind of girly vibe. I'm get We're finally getting a bit more of the sexy vibe. And I cannot wait. The teaser for this was absolutely fire. And to that point, if you want to go check out my reactions to the teaser although you might as well check out my reaction to the the whole music video at this point as well as any of my other semi reactions whether it be to gotta go but i beat bum or even when we disco featuring uh do it with jip it'll all be linked in the description box below hopefully you check it out mia is a person that i check out a lot really really love her song really love her music just the uniqueness of her voice and everything always always a huge fan so without further ado guys we have 10 seconds so let's get into the actual music video 10 Nine, chill, yuk, oh, sa, sam, yi, yi, yong, kaja. Subtitle? Ooh, there we are. I love the opening with the bass and like, it has that like noir. Oh my god. Oh yeah, side me. Oh, oh, the latex. I love, I love this aspect of this almost like noir film-esque type of vibe, like a detective mystery thriller has that like kind of really nice bass to it, a little bit more strings coming forward, really popping out. And I love also here, like just for instance, they kind of like drain out the color and they focus more on that red. That red is like definitely a color that she's really going for with this um, entire theme, thematic. You look at any of the concept photos, there's a lot of red and the contrasting color is like black or like the you know going with a black cat oh my god oh. Ooh, this is already hot hot and this was in the teaser too it's just like the swinging something like oh hot hot okay and then oh look at this up Oh, there she kind of like wrist like she has like a bit of like that kind of like crazy persona going on in the, even the song and how she vocalized. Her voice is so so nice. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. oh. There's a lot of black cats. Okay. I love how they add a lot of bass in this section to really emphasize oh. We're madly in love, kiss each other like crazy. Ah, we are going to frantically. Oh, sexy sun me, okay. Talking about the chorus now. Chorus was really cool. I love the aspect that they kept the same beats like dun, 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 dun. but then they add in more elements to it, a bit more kind of like a bit more. I think of like an electric guitar bass. <laughs> yeah, they make it a little bit more apparent, and they even add like a trumpet to it. Oh, by the way, I think wow. Okay, we're gonna finish this and I'll get back to you. Cheers! That's hot! Okay! Oh! Oh. We're just gonna keep on talking. We're not gonna. That, that, that's kind of like. That's that's more than PG. We're, we're just gonna let that go. Ooh, okay! Yes, I mean, you do. It's okay! Oh, I know that I recognize this kid. Yeah. 
this is just a fun fact just because I don't like this cake. I've seen it so much on social media by a lot of people. It's a bl it's like it's like a cake, but each like section here is actually like a croissant and on the inside it's like like a, it's like a dip. It's kind of like a spread. It's like pistachio. It's a really random fact, but it's because I saw it so much on social media and then one of them just posted eating them. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I, I just wanted to mention this because I think this is the only time this knowledge will ever come to use. Oh. Okay, so she is the crazy one. Okay, because in the teaser, it's him that gets like hit, but we don't infer like who's actually, but we thought, I thought I had the feeling it was going to be this crazy sudden me, and it kind of is. So the whole story kind of revolves around the idea of like, you're being almost like represented as cats and the idea of like take because like when an animal loves something they wag their tail like especially like if you're considering a dog but i think he, here she's looking at the same thing the cats and they kind of like wag their tail very happily and that's kind of like a reference to what she's looking at it's like we both wag our tail and uh, in like regards to that that's like something with like madly being like madly in love with somebody and maybe it not being reciprocated that's a cool fun aspect and why i can think she's like going with the crazy aspect because love sometimes is crazy love sometimes is blind love sometimes like makes you go mad makes you do crazy things and it the overall beat and how she's approaching it kind of gives it that like kind of sane but yet insane type of vibe to her voice because she has like kind of like this high-pitched voice a bit kind of like su sultry smooth but you can tell that something's not right because of the ominous feeling that the background music gives. She, but she hot. Sun me, why are you? Ah, why is she so hot? Oh, we're madly in love, kids. Just like other crazy wag our tails frantically oh 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 i like that i like that i i really like that this is like a play on like the fact that this is her tail she's like on all fours and that's her tail that's a cool like little like con yeah really cute uh cute maybe not cute sexy hot those are probably better words Hold the tail straight up high, stand on it. Oh, the booty shake. Oh, the... <laughs> oh, he's a snake. Okay, he's being represented as a snake. So he, he's not looking as innocent as he actually is. I love kind of like this almost like... Retro. Shug me, you shake. Oh, <laughs> She's happy look. Look at the booty shit. Okay. I love this idea of adding more bass in the chorus there. Oh, wait, that's it? That's it? There's not more? Jeez, yo. The dance performance is going to be hype. The dance performance is going to be lit from Studio Chum. That's going to be really fun to look forward to, especially with the dancing here. Oh, there's a lot to talk about, but I think the most important things is the fact that there's a tail, like the, the emphasis kind of like on this idea, the playfulness of like a cat, I think in particular animals, at least when the tail is like the love part of it. It's a very kind of like a lovesick, madly in love type of idea. Now, originally I thought that the man, the male act, the male protagonist here, um, he was actually kind of very kind of like uh, honest, kind of very kind of like... Uh, Hum, not humble but maybe like very kind of like innocent is probably the word that's best describing but actually when you look at it he has like that's that sneak that sneaky chuckle as well as kind of like the snake ring which would infer that like he most likely isn't as innocent as he, he's being made out to so all of everything that Sunmi's putting him through why she looks kind of like just normal about it kind of probably makes sense because maybe he put her through a lot of pain and that's kind of like the duality of sometimes relationships and like being falling madly in love one can like you get be blinded by what the other one does for them because you love them so much or like something like that so it's a i think it's a really kind of like accurate depiction of love to like how po the point can go crazy and everything and with regards to the music i really like this kind of like old kind of like the underlying tone of like the bassiness and kind of like the noir kind of like 
like thriller-esque so it feels like there's something ominous happening all the time something being kind of like pushed to the forefront and that even despite that we still have Sunmi bringing in this very kind of like smoky kind of sexy tone with it and i think that's perfectly embodied obviously by the dancing the dancing is hot is uh the wardrobe is hot there's uh, a lot of hot there's a lot of a lot of sexy sexy and um i'm definitely a fan for it i'm all for it uh this sunmi comeback has been definitely something i've been looking forward to since um not getting really the chance to look at yashina or like heroin and those two were like really some of my favorite songs and i really enjoyed kind of like that kind of sunmi vibe and that kind of like when she came back with pora pipam i was like really surprised that she went in a different direction but i think she's coming back to it now and and uh, I'm definitely a fan. Definitely, definitely a fan. So, guys, let me know what you thought about this. Let me know if you're going to check out the album. Let me know what best track I should be checking out from her album. And with that being said, if you want to go check out any of the other semi reactions, they'll all be linked in the description box below. There's Gotta Go, Pora Pipam, and even When We Disco. So, hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Kamsamnida. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, or something you want to talk, feel free to leave in the comment section below. And I'll get to you as soon as possible. With that being said, guys, I've been Tony. And you're Goodbye. And I'll see you in the next video. And Goodbye.